Frank? Yes. This is Dr. Sturden's office. I'm calling to remind you about your dental appointment tomorrow uh, morning. Okay, I can... Mr. Blank. Yes. You've missed your last three appointments, Mr. Blank. Uh, yes, I know. I, I mean, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I must have forgotten. It's only a filling, Mr. Mm. Blank. So you'll be here tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp? I promise. I'll be so there to make up for all my missed appointments. I don't care what you do, Mr. Blank, as long as you don't forget again. Yes, yes, yes. I, I remember. I remember. All right, Drew. I'm sorry. But if you remember, then why aren't you... Oh, oops. Oh, I'm sorry, Maxine. I, 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 I thought you were... Oh, why aren't I what? Your meeting with Schmaltz, it started ten minutes ago. So dead! In my day, being late for a meeting with one's superiors was grounds for immediate dismissal. See that it doesn't happen again. Yes, sir, Mr. Schmaltz. I'm sorry. Now then, I'm sure you're aware that this season marks the 10th anniversary of the Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun Show. Frankly, we've milked this formula long enough. Bun Bun needs a boost. It needs revitalizing. It needs a shot in the arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. A shot in the arm, yes, sir. Sure does. And since Bun Bun's your creation, I want you to personally administer this revitalizing shot. Thank you, sir. Here's how I see it. We create a big batch of happy, cute bunnies to share the spotlight with Bun Bun. It's an all-new show, and we call it Fluffy and Friends. After all, if one bun can carry a company like Sam Schmaltzing for 10 years, a whole truckload of things has got to be a gold mine. 24 carat. <laughs> Get it? Yes, terrific idea. That is exactly what the show needs, uh, more bunnies. Of course it's a terrific idea. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Well, what are you waiting for? Go make. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, yes, sir. I want the new characters on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. And this time, don't be late. Tomorrow morning. First thing, yes. OK. Rabbits. More sweet, friendly rabbits. Rabbits that do nice things. Rabbits that don't really care. Shit. Must focus on bunnies. <sighs> hey, kitties! Let's get hap hap happy! It's fluffy, fluffy bun bun time! Oh no! What are you doing on at four o'clock in the morning anyway? Fox! Drew! <laughs> what are you 
doing here? here? Look, Flux, I, I can't be here. I mean, I can't stay here. It's just not right. I, I don't fit in. Besides, oh my God, I've got one mother of a deadline hanging over my head. And apparently, a lifetime of therapy to look forward to. So please, just slap me or, or tell me there's no place like home or do whatever it takes to get me out of here. Well, I guess if it means that much to you. So, you mean you do know how to get me home? Hell no! I have problems finding my own way home. But I do know a guy who might be able to help. So you see, King Hugh, your wonderfulness, Drew needs to get back home. Can you help him, can you, huh? Oh, dear, 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 I'm so sorry for all the trouble you've been through. Uh, of course I'll help you find your way home. Told you. Thank you, your majesty. But there's just one teensy-weensy little problem. Let me explain. We are here, Qtopia. That's where I live. That's where I live, right there. Zany do. It's kind of like an offshore asylum, but to me, it's always been home. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to you, your benevolence. Yes. As I was saying, we are here in Qtopia, home of the happy, helpful Qtopians. And, of course, they're good and just king. It's me. We were all so very, very happy until we fell under attack by a very wicked man, Count Nefarious. <laughs> Don't even like to look at him. <laughs> Who would? Nefarious is ruler of the Malevolands and its dismal denizens. He has perfected a Malevolator. Hey, that's the thing that took a shot at me! It's a terrible flying weapon of Nefarious's own invention. The Malevolator shoots a powerful ray that corrupts everything it touches, turning all that is sweet and pleasant into all that is sinister and ugly. So, I'm afraid, Mr. Drew, we really need you to help us before we can help you. But how could I possibly help? My Brave spies have stolen the blueprints for Nefarious's bad, bad machine. My royal engineer is using these plans to build a cutifier, a device which will reverse the damage Nefarious has done. Mr. Drew, please, I need you to help us finish the cutifier so that we can end Nefarious's reign of terror and make the world a happy place. And then, I promise you, I will do everything in my power to help you get home. Don't worry, your benevolence. We'll save you. Won't we? Mr. Drew? Sure, your highness. I, 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 I'd be happy to help. Absolutely splendid. Thank you, friend. You can't possibly understand what this means to me and my kingdom. Before you leave the castle, please stop by my laboratory so my engineer can show you the cutifier. And remember, all of Qtopia is counting on you. Hello! Hello. We're looking for the Royal Engineer. Really? I'm looking for my glasses. Oh. Well, if you see the Engineer, would you tell him we're looking for him? I will. But he's rather preoccupied right now. He's lost his glasses. Now where can they be? Where are they? I can't see a...
Excuse me, could we have a word with you? Certainly, which word would you like? May I recommend? Goodbye. King Hugh sure has a lot of trophies. Well done, sir. A keen observation. However, if I may be blunt, I find dusting a trifle difficult whilst engaged in such witty and insightful conversation. So if it's all the same to you, I suggest you gentlemen be on your way. Hey, wait a second. What kind of a butler are you anyway? For your information, no kind of butler at all. Are you blind, sir? Flux, look at him. I think he's a footman. What? So you're telling me a butler would be a great big... Right. Hm. We were just talking to a bird downstairs. He seemed a little flustered. Ah. You've had the misfortune of meeting Bric-a-Brac, our royal engineer. Bric-a-Brac seems to be having a bit of a problem. Allow me to go out on a limb, sir. Bric-a-Brac has lost his glasses. Yes, that's right. Uh, I don't suppose he has checked his pocket. Oh, I didn't ask. Hmm, well, while I find the troubles of our engineer most fascinating, sir, in future I would prefer to focus my energies on more important matters, such as the condition of my master's trophies. Time for us to shove off. Then please, by all means, shove off, sir. Brick-a-brack, by any chance are your glasses in your pocket? I had no idea! I wish I had them right now. I think what Drew means is, look in your pocket! Oh, okay! My glasses! I wonder who put them there? Say, do I know you? I'm Drew, and he's Flux. We're friends of King Hugh. We've come to help you with a cutifier. Wonderful! Welcome to Team Happy! <laughs> Let me show you what I've been working on. Gentlemen, this is the blueprint for Nefarious's Malevolator! Now then, you see the 12 things installed inside the ship's deck? The whistles, the dagger and whatnot? Well, they power Nefarious's Malevolation Beam! We need 12 things to power the beam on our machine! But so far, I've only been able to find one! Well, I guess a scavenger hunt for the missing parts shouldn't take too long. We already have the blueprint. At least we know what we need to get. Not that easy! Use the same 12 things, get another Malevolation Beam, see? What we need are 12 different things. Things of a different nature. Things that will produce the reverse effect. Oh, right. You said you had one thing that worked? Why, yes I do. Let's take another look-see at the blueprint. The one thing that seems to work is sugar. It works when I put it right there, where the spice is in Nefarious's machine. But why? I haven't a clue. Well, brick a rat we better go. The sooner we get those missing parts, the better for all of us. Wait. You'll be needing the Malevolator blueprint for reference. Oh, now where's it got to? Uh, you're still holding it, Wing Commander. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. I want to give you something that may help. A bottomless bag to carry all the parts in. Thank you, Bric-a-Brac. Splendid. 
And please, feel free to come back here anytime. We can install different things into the cutifier to see if they work. Or we can just talk. Okay? Okay. Thank you, new friends. And good luck! Exactly! The door is locked. Do you think King Hugh wants us to stay out of there? Heck no! I've always viewed a locked door as an invitation. Hi guys, I'm Drew Blank, and this is my friend, Flux Wildly. We're building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. We're secretly building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. Oh jeez, these are the palace guards. You think they don't know what's going on? Building a machine? Qtopia? So, what exactly do you guys do around here? Let's show him, Sparky. Okie dokie, Chipper! Two, three, four! Bippity bip bip bippity ba! Bip boop bip boop bippity ba! Ya da diddly diddly da! Skiddly diddly dippity do! Oops! That's our little hello dance! It even has a message! That's right! It means hello! Here's hoping it made your trip to the palace today just a tiny bit brighter! Yeah! Uh, thanks, guys. You don't have to thank us! Your smile is payment enough! Boy, it sure has been a tough day. Hasn't it, Flux? Yes? Oh, we, we sure could use some cheering up. Mayday, mayday! Our friends have the frownies. Quick! The dance! Oh no, wait! It hasn't been that tough! Two, three, four! Bippity bip bip bippity ba! Bip boop bip boop bippity ba! Ya da da da! Oh, looks like the little fellows dropped something. Too bad. Well, there's one problem solved. And 1,110 to go. Of course, that's only an estimate. 